After five weeks of intense Rugby World Cup action, we're on the eve of determining who is the best in the world. This includes finding out the top four because we'll see Canada take on France before England faces host New Zealand. Third ranked Canada will face off against fourth ranked France in the bronze medal match, kicking off in the United States November 11th at 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time and in New Zealand November 12th at 4.30 p.m. Most recently, these teams met in 2019 at the Pacific Four Series where Canada edged France 36-19. However, France has the historical advantage winning eight of their 15 meetings. This battle is shaping up to be a fascinating one with a lot going on in the line out. Canada has boasted a 95% success rate until their meeting with England last weekend where they struggled. Similarly, France has won 91% of their own throws and leads the tournament in steals. Les Bleus defense have been outstanding all tournament long, only allowing five tries the entire tournament. However, Canada is averaging 4.6 tries per game in this RWC with 26 clean breaks, third overall, and 694 runs second overall throughout the tournament. The Maple Leafs have defeated France in their last four meetings, but France have the most third place finishes of any team in the history of the Rugby World Cup. This will be a close one, but we predict France will win by seven points. First ranked England will face second ranked New Zealand in the gold medal final match. This kicks off in the United States November 12th at 12.30 a.m. CST. Hope you're staying up with us. And then in New Zealand November 12th at 7.30 p.m. These teams last saw each other in 2021 where New Zealand suffered their heaviest defeat in test history losing 56 to 15. However, New Zealand have beaten England in every Rugby World Cup match. The stats keep going, though, as England is on a world record 30 test winning streak, but New Zealand have never lost a test match at Eden Park. They've played 11 there. Looking at these two teams, there couldn't be more of a contrast in approach. The Red Roses rely on their set pieces with their forwards scoring 25 of 38 tries at the Rugby World Cup, and 24 of those tries have come from lineouts. The Black Ferns perform an open, flowing game plan with 24% of their total tries coming from turnover or counterattacks, and 33 of their 38 tries at this Rugby World Cup come from an assist of a teammate. History has us leaning towards a win by the Black Ferns, and this is further bolstered by the fact that they're playing a Rugby World Cup final at home while it's sold out for the first time. But we feel that the momentum is with England. They spent the last five years investing, preparing, and envisioning this moment. We predict England will win by five points.